It's such a perfect day. I'm glad I spent it with you. Oh, such a perfect day. Hey, Keith, Carrie. No? Okay. Sorry. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Death Theater Projects. Let's get back to work. Last time, um, I made the most successful game of all time. And, um, <laughs> give me a minute. Because War Heroes 3 uh, was the most successful War Heroes of all time. And then we had Deadshot, which was another success. Not as successful than War Heroes, but it was our very first console rated end game, I think it was. And it was great. We, we got a lot of money out of it. And we, we gained a shit ton of profit. It was huge. It was probably one of the best games I've ever had fun of making on a console. Very first console game, like I said. Even though it's on the... Ve uh, the... Vena? I want to say. But that doesn't even match up to Sparring Master, our first fucking handheld game, which got a perfect fucking 10. It was amazing. And before that, we had a huge success with Movie Simulator. And Clue Hunter was just complete shit. But Movie Simulator and Sparring Master, Sparring Master just made me cry. Like, I, when I was editing... When I was editing this episode, I, I started crying again, and this, the income that I made off of that, off of this one game, just made me cry. And I, I was so happy that this game was a huge success because we just got the new office, then come to find out that we did perfect on Sparring Master. Uh, we're probably going to have to look forward to a sequel and since this, this is by Nevento, we will indeed make a sequel to Sparring Master. Uh, Deadshot was supposed to have been the Red Dead Redemption kind of thing. Uh, Wild West in action. We were going to do Wild West RPG, but we didn't have um, open world at the time. I think we do. Uh, let me check. We do. So, um, I think we have a new engine. Let's go ahead and check and see if we had a... Yeah, we did make a new engine. We made the Falcon 2. I decided to continue off of the Falcon. And I did put out requests for uh, engine names or game names. Or something, you know. Um, so, you know what? It's, it's year 7, month 8. I don't even have enough to train, so you know what? Let's find some contract work to do. Um, because we could just basically do anything. And we could get all this shit done, too. Plus, at the same time, we're gaining um, research points. So accepting these small contracts will be great, actually. I want to start getting into medium games, too. So we might get into medium games in this episode. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, we've yet to even research it, and I'm not going to yet. But we need to work up on 2D graphics to do Falcon 3, because the current engine we have now was supposed to have been 2D Graphics V3 and not the V2, which is kind of bullcrap. But anyways, we're going to have to work on a brand new game now. Uh, actually, no, not new engine. Wait, what the hell? We have 3D Graphics? Can we get away with 
just fucking doing this? I don't want to waste money. Um, I want to get simple cutscenes first, and I don't want to research 2D graphics V3 yet. Because we can do fucking... Um, fucking 3D graphics. And then we can work off of that. We, we're, we're going to go away from 2D graphics here in a bit. Um, seems to the market has normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. So you know what? Wait, can we do sequel yet? No. Let's, um... Jeez. I want to do something new. Something I've never done before. So, I'm looking at alternate history now. Um, alternate history is good on action, RPG. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do alternate history. Let's go. Let's do it for everyone. Let's do RPG. Can can it be done casual too? Alternate history. No. Well, no, not really. Uh, before we get this game started, let's check. We did a history last, or we did history strategy last time, so we can do RPG. So um, alternate history, RPG, mature. And I want to put it on the Oasis. Actually, what's the latest console? It would be the Oasis, would it? Uh, did we get to TES? We did go to Super TES. Um, do, I, do I want to pick up the Super TES and then, and then just do the TES? Because we have a Nintendo contract with uh, the game line. Or the Vento, excuse me. We could just fucking do, um, let, let's do that, yeah. Let's go ahead and put our next game on the Super TES, uh, Falcon 2, and we're going to call this one, uh, since this is alternate history, uh, let me go back to alternate history. Is it good on Mature? Yes, it is. Alright, so RPG. Mature, Super TES, Falcon 2, wait, hold on, Super TES. It's not good on RPG, but we can do it. Uh, mature, oh shit. So, you know what? We could do for everyone then. Everyone. Let's do this for everyone. Because it does well with everyone and Mature. Alternate history does. Uh, so we're going to do uh, alternate history for everyone. Uh, it's going to be RPG for the Super TES, and we're going to call this um, Enter Zero. Yes, with that zero. I, I'm sorry, I don't have any good names for an alternate history game. So, fuck you. Um, 2D Graphics V2. Let's get to work on probably the dumbest game ever. So, let's scroll down to stage one. I'm still using the guide, if you guys don't mind. Uh, RPG. Engine is down. Um... Gameplay can go down a little bit, and story quests are skyrocketing. So we have to do that because story quests. And uh, we could have done. Uh, I'm not sure if we have branching story unlocked. So we're we're going to have to work on linear story. Uh, again, this is just RPG. It doesn't really matter at this point. So uh, I want to turn engine up just a tiny. Well, actually, it's down. So let's keep it right there for the engine. All right, so let's do this. 
I don't think there's such thing as a, an E3 conference yet, but it's supposed to come soon. Uh, stage two for RPG. Uh, dialogues is all the way, all the way up. Level design can go down, and AI. I'm gonna keep AI right here because it just it just looks good right there, and we don't really have anything for any of these except for level design, which is level editor. So level design, like I said, it's it's middle. We're gonna even it out a little bit, so that'll work right there. And then right here. I'm going to go straight into marketing and I'm going to do a small campaign because we have the money for it. God damn it, Skype. All right, in the middle of stage three now. Um, world design is all the way up. Graphics is right there. Actually, it can go right there and then sound can stay. Let me turn sound down a little bit. I'm just going to turn everything down just a tiny bit, leaving enough time for world design to get its work done. All right, so I think these little gray slots just mean do the fuck whatever you want. All right, so we have a lot of height. Uh, let's work out the bugs. Anything else? No? Let's do this. New record! Did we level up anything? No. But we got a new record. That That's what counts. Alright, so you... Or you... No, I want... I want black guy. No! I want the black guy to do it. I want the black guy to do the generate um, the game report. So you know what? Let's find out if we suck or not. Not bad, not bad. We didn't do a complete fuck up, but it wasn't good either. Fives and sixes. Yeah, that's a good. That's good rating, I guess. Could have been better. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm going to agree. This wasn't the best game. Um, so black guy, you do game report for Enter Zero for TES. And you, or me I should say, I will research simple cutscenes. What the hell? What in God's Jesus fucking name is this? The crypt message. This is a very special offer our ancients has recently managed to gain access to critical systems of one of your competitors if oh shit um no all right game analysis is complete uh, post release analysis that is alternate history and RPG is a great combination uh, engine seems to not be not important for this type of game. Engine, engine, engine. Did I get it right? Uh, topic audience match. Everyone alternate history. Great. All right. So that was a go uh, complete fuck up. So I want you to train yourself in technology, I guess, because that's what I got you for. So. Get some fucking work done. Okay, game convention. What? Oh, yay! This is it. This is it. This is E3. Oh, excuse me, G3. Um, we have followed your progress in recent years, and we would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention of all time. Games, games, games. Uh, also known as G3. Uh, actually, it would be the Electronic Entertainment Expo. I think it's called. So, fuck you. But they can't do that copyright crap. 
So by having your own company booth at G3, we can, uh, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games, and we think our audience would love to see you there. Uh, we will contact you early, uh, yearly for booth options. Hope to see you at G3, the G3 c committee. And I believe it's at month five, so I gotta start working on a game like at month four, whenever I'm not really doing anything. So that means I'm gonna have to sit on a couple games while I'm just fucking waiting. So while everybody's doing research and training, I'm gonna also train myself and research make me think because I need to work on my fucking research speed so um, now we're both training and I want to take this time to say hi how are you how have you been I've been really busy being dead you know after you murder oh shit no that's copyright <laughs> It wasn't on for very long. We gained, we gained a couple fans off of that, but not much. All right, so everybody's done researching. Um, can we, can we get away with another engine, or do we want to wait until the next couple of games and just fucking say, okay, this is when we'll do the engine change. Because we're going to need a, a better engine for, um, I want to wait until sequels. I want to get sequels. And I want to, uh, I want to gain a branching story too. So, we should probably work a little bit more. You know what? Maybe we should do this. Because we got the money, we got plenty of money to do this. It's just a better engine with 3D graphics, and um, you know what, let's do it. Falcon 3D. Maybe? I don't know. I want to think of a cool name for it. How about... Falcon 3. There. That's, that's cool. That'll be fine. Alright, so, um, let's overlook this. Can we do this? I think we can. Um, God help me that we are going to fuck up on our next couple of games. Okay, so then after we get done doing this, um, we're already a month four. Jesus fucking Christ! So if they contact us in month five, we're gonna go ahead and take a booth option. Oh, there we go. And then as soon as we get done with our brand new engine, we'll do game like immediately. Because it's in month, it's either in month six or month seven. quick all right so let's start on a brand new game <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and pick Falcon 3 the dumbest fucking thing that we've ever done and we're going to choose our next game to be on the Super TES and it's going to be uh, let me check Um, let's choose the topic first. We don't want to do another alternate history one. You know what? We haven't made um, another movie one, but what do movies go good with? They go good with simulator and casual. Okay, so let's make a movie casual if we can for the Super TES. Casual. Uh, let me go check. Super TES, real quick. If I could find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, Super TES, 
can we do casual? We could, but it won't go well. So we're going to have to market it to young people. Um, and we'll call this one, since we are probably getting pretty close to the 1990s. Uh, what's a good 1990 um, movie that we could just fucking rip? Um... Well, we can't really mix anything together, so we can't really rip off any movie. So, then, what are we going to fucking do? Um... Shit. What's a good fucking game for a movie? Oh, we've been, all, we've been over this. I, I, I can't fucking think right when thinking of a game that goes good with movies and casual. Now, when you think of casual games, you think of games that really don't even... Excuse me, mean anything. Um, uh, fuck. So, you know what? Let's just do movie life. Or, no, the movie life. Or living the movie life. <laughs> living the movie life. That works. Uh, okay, so it's marketed to young movies, casual, super TS, Falcon 3. Uh, before I get started, can the super TS support young people? I'm pretty sure it will, and I'm pretty sure it can. Yes, it will. All right, so let's do this. All that. <gasps> this is it. This is it. This is the part where I say, "Fuck you all." I'm going the play set, uh, play system. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I will be working with play system.